the ninth from Woodbine Racetrack. Ninth race, the 2001 championship final of the Fan Hanover Stakes. Ten great fillies in motion. And they're off and pacing. Trying a big start is GW General Jessica. McDonnell has her fired up and leaving hard at the extreme outside. Gothic Lady is first to land in on the pylons and Eternal Justice splits Phillies up into the top trio. Cathedral.com is going to lay just off the leaders from fourth. Electrical Art is east in from fifth. Give Me Life takes sixth in line into the first turn. She is just ahead of Runaround Jade, prettiest gal in town. Second to last along the inside, Umbro Vanilla and Dreams May Come is tenth and taken over into line. They battled out the first quarter in 26 and 4. Waples parked to the outside with Eternal Justice is finally going to clear. Over GW Gentle Jessica under a snug rain of the inside third is Gothic Lady and up for the retake is GW Gentle Jessica. There goes Cathedra.com tipping up from fourth and Electrical Art follows her cover gratefully second over from fifth in the first half. Give Me Life is sixth on the outside. Run around Jade from seventh. Prettiest gal in town is eighth. Thumbra Vanilla is ninth and Dreams May Come trailed off a half in 56 and 2, charging hard on the front end and 3 wide to challenge goes Electrical Art out around Cathedra.com GW General Jessica is a hard spent third, moving up uncovered on the outside is Give Me Life, now showing fourth onto the final turn, Eternal Justice is also winded heavily back in fifth, run around Jate is sixth seventh on the pylons for Ombro Vanilla turning for home, then prettiest gal in town was eighth, Dream May Come and Ombro Vanilla off the uh, final turn where the trailers in the backfield, a little commotion as we had a breaker, but the leader into the stretch is Electrical Art and Campbell and Cathedra.com and Dave Miller are going to chase to the end a dramatic finish, and here comes Cathedra.com on the outside to win the fan head of her stakes final, Cathedra.com in front of length, Electrical Art second, and Gothic Lady came back on for third, 151 and 1, Cathedra.com wins the fan Hanover final with the inquiry sign posted. to Cathedra.com, the ninth race winner at Woodbine of the 2001 Fan Hanover Stakes Final. Presidential ball, three-year-old brown filly from Cathedral Sire Stakes, who won an elimination of this race in her three-year-old season. Also, the dam of second race winner, Western Shooter. And here, the dam of the Fan Hanover Stakes champion, Cathedra.com. Owned by the CDC Stables of Old Forge, Pennsylvania. Trained by Chris Ryder and driven to victory by Dave Miller. For her seventh win in 14 starts this year, 151 and 1, her winning time in the Fan Hanover final. In the Fan Hanover stakes this evening, 51 and 1, just a fifth of a second off the Phillies' lifetime best. How did you, how did you feel about the trip? Did everything go as planned? Uh, yeah, it, it actually worked out real well. Uh, um, I, you know, didn't want to get caught up too early in the uh, early speed and uh, got back to front and uh, got an easy middle half in her and she got covered up again and then she kicked on home. You told me that uh, your plan going in was to keep uh, Electrical Art and John Campbell behind you, and uh, you said that uh, Campbell figured out a way to get in front of you. Yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> when I, uh, my filly, she was just kind of getting back to the front kind of easy, and John made a three-deep move. Uh, it was too early to race him in, so uh, I turned him loose and just followed him. Just had a look at the uh, replay of the stretch. Uh, any anxious moments down the stretch, or did you feel your uh, filly had lots left in the tank? Uh, no, she, it was a good race right to the wire. Uh, my filly just, uh, just was a little better tonight. All right, that is uh, David Miller, winner of the Fan Hanover with Cathedral.com. Congratulations to you and the connections, and you'll be back next week for the Metro Stakes Final.